In this problem, we try to reproduce uh, the effect of turbulence around a real car, which is represented here, using a model car, which is represented there. Um, this model car is 20 times smaller, and the question we try to answer is what speed should the airflow around the model car to be able to simulate what is happening around the real car, which is here. The answer to this is found using the Reynolds number, because the Reynolds number detects, dictates the amount of turbulence that we're going to have and detects the importance and the role of viscosity in the flow. So what we do is we write uh, the Reynolds number for the car, for the real car, and we set it equal to the Reynolds number uh, for the model car. And I'm going to call the real car A and the model car B, uh, and I advise you to do the same things, to be very careful with how you label different situations. This is because situations get increasingly complex as you mix velocities and temperatures and uh, scales um, as you compare different situations. So always be very rigorous in how you label the situation. Well, the Reynolds number around the real car is, is rho VL over mu, so the density uh, around the real car, um, times the velocity coming into the real car, times some representative length of the real car divided by viscosity. Um, uh, that's of the air around the real car, mu a, like this. And this we set equal to the same parameters, but for the model, rho b, vb, lb, divided by mu b, like so. And in here, what we want to calculate, what we want to isolate is vb, the velocity of the model car. So the question is, what is vb in this case? Well, this is a, not a difficult mathematical problem. <coughs> we take vb and write it by itself on the left side and then we have to rearrange and re, re, re sort out uh, all of the different terms so vb is equal to v sorry to va to va multiplied by a series of factors and these factors are rho a over here rho a over rho b and then it's going to have um, l a over l b and then mu b over mu a here. In this case, we are having uh, the same air flow over both cars, the real one and the model one. And so um, the, the density of the air and the viscosity of the air will be the same. And so we can simply replace uh, VA by its original value. Rho A over Rho B is going to be one and LA over LB. This is where the labeling is useful. LA is the length of the car. LB is the length of the model. So LA over LB is 20. And then mu B over mu A, that's 1. And so we have VB, the velocity that we need around the tiny car to be able to simulate the flow around the real car is 20 times VA. Now this is quite a disappointing result because theory tells us uh, it's very easy. If you want if you want to reproduce uh, the flow around an object you know, with a model, then all you need to do is reduce the same Reynolds number. And here you see that it's not that easy. If the real car um, down here, if the real car here um, goes at 100 kilometers per hour, and you want to reproduce that flow or with a tiny model, with a 20, 1 to 20 model, um, you need to go 20 times faster. 20 times faster is 2,000 kilometers per hour. And clearly this is not feasible. So there are different ways around this problem that fluid dynamicists use. Uh, one way is to use the other parameters in this equation. And so you can play a little bit with this fraction here and that fraction there if you adjust the properties of the fluid around the model car. So in this case, you want this fraction to be smaller to basically compensate the factor 20. And so if you increase the density B compared to density A, then you're going to get away with some of that. Increasing density B typically is done by cooling down the fluid. And so having very dense fluid, very dense air, uh, cool air, uh, will help you compensate for this. And changing the temperature of the air will also change the ratio of viscosities. As you cool down the air, its viscosity will increase. And so the ratio of mu B to mu A will also increase, bigger than one. Nevertheless, this is not enough uh, to compensate for a factor 20, maybe with a good Good quality, um, very powerful equipment. You can cool down the air uh, so that you get a factor two or three here using those two fractions. 
So it's not enough to compensate for factor 20. And so what fluid dynamics use on top of this is to change the model so that there is more turbulence on the model than there would be around the real car. And uh, doing this um, can be done with more turbulent incoming air or can be done with rough patches on the surface of the model so that you artificially increase the amount of turbulence around the small model. So you get away with this. So here's the lesson. Um, equate the Reynolds number, you squeeze down the size of something, means you have to increase the velocity by the same amount. Um, and this means it may not be easily done in practice.